Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is Dear Designs, I am Denise. Um, as you probably all know already. <laughs> um, if you are new then obviously not, but <clears throat> um, this week is a bit of a quiet one, again really. Um, I haven't really been up to that much, um, but then I have. It don't really make sense, but I'm going to um, just show you what I've got. I am wearing the same top as last week. Um, it is clean. <laughs> um, it's just that I'm going shopping today and this is the most comfortable jumper that I've got that I can wear with leggings and just really slouchy and so yeah, that's that. <laughs> um, I have actually, well I say I wrote show notes, I have wrote notes today because it just seemed like last week I was a bit confused on what I had done before. Um, state of my hair. You're probably not interested, but <laughs> um, so yeah, I just thought I'd quickly jot down a few things while I was um, doing some knitting last night and thinking about what I had to um, talk about. Now, if you hear um, any bings or any noises, it's probably from my laptop because I am actually editing my weekly vlog on my other channel. So um, today is the start of Vlogmas. I am doing Vlogmas and that will be on my other channel, it is linked down below. Um, the reason I don't want to do it on this channel is, for quite a few reasons really, is I want to keep this just crafting um, and I want to keep it so if people don't want to see um, my vlogs or any other videos that I do in their newsfeed then they can just stick to this channel um, and if you do want to check out what I get up to in vlogmas or in the last three or four weeks I've been doing weekly vlogs so go check them out if you're interested if you're not I 100% uh, percent understand that you're just here for what I get up to in my knitting and crochet world <laughs> um, so anyway let's get started <coughs> first of all I have finished my Rose City Rollers. Um, these are so cute. They're really easy to make. Um, yeah, I made these like that, really. Um, I don't really know what else to say. The yarn was... Oh, wow. The yarn was Serdar heart to soul, heel to soul, soul, something like that. Um, if you go and look at my last week's video, all the details are in that video. But these are the Ro Rose City Rollers. It's a free pattern on Ravelry and they are just so cute. I have made these a little bit longer, like the foot a little bit longer than my past um, socks that I've knitted just because I thought they needed to be a bit longer. Um, so I have done that really really good and I think the reason why I like these so much is because I started the cuff and then you go straight into the heel so that I'm really really pleased with and I've just remembered that I have got another pair of socks um, on the go that are over there I will get them <laughs> um, but yeah so I have a pair now I did try to do these to match now as you can see the heels match perfectly but then last week I told you about the problem that I had with the knots in the yarn and so on and so on so as you can see where I have taken it where the knot was I've started um, from where the knot from the other side of the knot I took the knot apart in other words <laughs> and, and I started again and this is just where I've weaved in the um the wall I, or the the strand I don't know why it's gone like that to be honest um so yeah that was where I found another knot another yes knot so they would have matched perfectly but as you can see here I've just got a single grey stripe then it goes back into pink then back into the purple so at uh, the oh the pink sorry the dark pink so in theory, I'm missing a whole purple block. So the toes are different, but that's fine. They're gonna be in shoes or they're gonna be on my feet. No one really looks at my feet. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with them. 
Um, I did want them to match as best as I could, but then once I had sort of done that, I was like, oh, it don't matter, which it don't really. Um, they could be matching odd socks, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, so that that is those. Then um, that's the only finished object I've got for this week. Now I am knitting a pair of socks for a friend. Um, I'm helping her with her um, jewellery and everything, um, Tina. Um, she's got a Etsy shop called Tomfoolery by Tina. She does gemstone jewellery. You've probably seen it on my Facebook if you're on my Facebook. But I am knitting a pair of... They're called man-sized socks, but to me they're just like bed socks. Um, I'm doing them in a double knit with no nylon just because she wants them to wear indoors with her slippers and I have one let me put it on a sock blocker I have one and I did start the other one last night um, bear with bear with and <laughs> um, these are not gonna fit on my sock blockers because these are quite big <laughs> um, because she has bigger feet than me but <laughs> anyway these are what they look like as you can see she has quite a bit bigger feet than me I have a about a UK five or six six pushing it um, and she's about a seven um, plus she wanted them a little bit bigger anyway so I think I did them 11 inches long like the foot 11 inches because I even tried them on and I can wear them like ruched up yeah that word <laughs> um so that is one this is in the pound round yarn um and I have done I think I've got three rows left to go for the leg and then I can do the heel flap so that's those. Really pleased with these. Um, at first I was like, oh, I wonder if they're going to fit. Because I know a lot of people say, if you knit socks for other people, you never know if they're going to fit. But because she wants them slouchy anyway, and because it's only double knit, and they're only for bed socks, and they're not taking me that long to make, I thought that, well... She wants a couple of pairs, so I thought, well, I'll do one pair, see what they're like, and then I can make any alterations to that. So, I've just, I've cast on 48 stitches, um, and I've did a one by one rib for, this is just off, well, it's sort of that pattern, but I'm just using that pattern for the heel flap and the number of rows that I have to do, basically. Um, anyway, yeah, one by one twisted rib. Then I have done the leg for um, 39 rows. Then I've done the heel flap. And then I've done the foot for 62 rows. Then I've added a rounded toe. So, really enjoying socks as you can see. This is just in a handbag. <laughs> Very glitzy handbag um, that my sister-in-law bought me back from holiday so that's those um i probably will take those with me i'm going to my mum's today we're going shopping um hopefully to get my christmas present for everybody um but bear with me one second let me go and get the other work in progress i thought i had shown you these um but i haven't so i am working on now this is a, another pattern just out of my head but using the standard sock remedy recipe whatever this I am using the drops fable in 161 that's the colorway it doesn't have an actual name and on this one let me see if I can just pull enough on this one I have done a two by two rib it's not twisted um, I don't know what the difference between twisted 2x2 two two and just a normal 2x2 two two rib is. Um, is it more stretchy? If you know, please let, leave me a comment down below. Um, but these are, 
extremely stretchy anyway um, and these are going to be similar to my rose city rollers but with a um, cuff that not a rolled cuff but just a normal so they're going to be shorty socks this is the heel flap uh, they're going to be shorty socks um, yeah so that's all I've got done of those so far um, it's just that I think we was at a friend's house and we were due to go and I have to pick up the stitches so I was thinking oh, I'll do that the next time but then I cast on the double knit socks so I had a cast on session <laughs> um, in the last couple of well in the last week I've just wanted to cast on everything um, but I've withheld from that so my next work in progress is my jumper now this is the jumper from Simply Knitting Magazine. I did show you it last week. Um, I'll just quickly show you again if I can get the... It's really crumpled now, but this is the jumper. Um, from issue October 2010. I haven't got an issue number, I'm afraid. It's just literally the month and the year. Um, so that's the pattern. And this is how much I've got done. <laughs> Not very much from last week, I must admit. Um, as you can see, it's a stocking stitch and a rib repeat pattern. Um, really easy to work with, or really easy to do, but the yarn, oh my God. I don't know whether because it's so dark that... I'm finding it really hard just to see my stitches um, and I I think it's a little bit like working with black um, so I'm just doing this during the day and then when I'm getting a bit oh I can't do this no more I'm going on to something else because I don't want to keep doing it and it become a downer or it, it to become something that I don't want to do so I thought that I would just work on this every now and again so this will be my long term project. Um, I know I wanted to make a quick jumper like I made before but it. I've, I think I've made a bit of progress since um, last week. I think I was probably only up to about here so I've made it like half again or double. Um, <clears throat> so yeah we'll just have to wait and see. The colour is, I love the colour, absolutely love it. Um, and I think I will stick with the grey top sleeves um, because a lot of people have said that, that it's nice and I thought to myself well let's go for something different instead of this all over um, so yeah that is that then um, I've got something else to show you as well that is over there oh what am I like <laughs> oh this week is worse than last week Anyway, it doesn't matter for a moment. Um, I ordered from Derrimores. I did very quickly say last week that I ordered from Derrimores. And I ordered on Thursday. Sunday, we was out. And I got an email. Your order has, your parcel has been delivered. What have I ordered? I thought Derrimores can't be that quick. Clicked on the tracking and it was Derrimores. <gasps> so I was like, oh my God, that was so quick. I don't know whether that it's flagged up on my account that I've always had problems or what. So, thank you, Darren Moores. You was very quick this time. <clears throat> so, and that order included the yarn that I needed for my temperature blanket, which was the pinky, purpley colour, uh, Cl Clementis, Cl yeah, whatever, and Meadow. So, I been able to catch up with um, this and <clears throat> it's up to date up to date until yesterday so it's just from today I need to carry on but can you see where the little stitch marker what is that is how much that I got done in a day bear in mind it's that big doubled uh, yeah it, it's it's halved so it's that size plus that size again um so and i <coughs> oh i don't know what's wrong with me sorry 
and as you can see I've started to get the light blue in because yesterday it was three degrees three oh my lord so <laughs> um yeah it's humongous um so this is oh no that ain't even the bottom this is the bottom then it goes all the way I can't even do this right so there's the bottom then it goes all the way all the way all the way all the way to there so I think it's as tall as me <laughs> um and working on this at this time of year is wonderful because you get so snugly underneath it but then when you put it down again you're like I'm cold now <laughs> um but it's really nice and I do think it's going to be the whole length of my sofa so um we might be able to snuggle under it together me and Ian um so yeah that's that then let me get up again and I will show you what I want to show you. Hold on one second. <laughs> I'm back, I'm back. Okay, I'm really sorry. It's just that I know it sounds really bad, but with these videos, I like them to be natural and I don't like to edit bits out and, and that. So anyway, I've had this pattern for so long. Um, I don't know whether this has got a uh, oh, Simply Knitting March 2015 and I've been wanting to do this for so long I love the colours of it I love the whole thing let me just get it out so you can see a better view so that's that um, and I have a necklace that is so similar to that that um, my nan actually gave me I think do you know what I think it's, it's no no it is very very similar it's got the same sort of beads on it uh, my nan gave it to me before she passed away um, and I just thought this jumper would be perfect for jeans for leggings for anything basically so I went on Derrimore's sorry about the rustling I didn't realize it was in another bag um, and I got some yarn um, I got this yarn with the order that I got from my or from my Etsy store um, I've actually sold two things or I've made two there's someone oh no 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 start again Denise um, I've actually had two orders um, one was for four items and the next one was for one item so thank you very much for ordering uh, it's very much appreciated and um, with my first order this is what I got with it <laughs> uh, I got yarn but never mind um, I got six balls of this because this is what the pattern calls for it's King Cole Shine Double Knit and it's in Glacier I don't know whether that is actually focusing or not. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this pattern. I didn't realise that the yarn was sparkly all the way through. Um, it's not scratchy. It's super, super soft. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. Really, really am. Um, and I just love the colours. I think the yarn... Um, have I got the receipt in here? I think it was... It wasn't even £3 a ball. I can't remember now. Um, oh, there is no price on it. But I got eight balls of yarn and it came to £22. So that's with um, the postage as well. So... No, sorry, that is without the postage because I had a voucher for free postage, I remember. So, I think the, um, I think it was when it was 25% off, their Black Friday thing, um, and that's why I got it. But if you can see, every, no, you can't see, let me, every ball looks like a different colour. This one has got a lot more navy in it, this one's got the ice colour this one's pink so yeah I'm really looking forward to um, 
doing that and I don't know when I'm going to start it probably when that Aran one is a little bit further along um anyway this is why I've got my notes <laughs> um <clears throat> now I've already spoke about one of the things which is vlogmas so that's done um last week um Kelly very kindly gave Jan her birthday blanket now if you don't know who Jan Carruthers Carruthers is she's urban gypsy crochet and if you don't know who she is go check her out <laughs> um now it was her birthday on Saturday and last Saturday and she um is such a lovely lady um she has videos with Sue and Kelly um and Christina I'm sure that's her name I'm really sorry <laughs> Um, so yeah, and everyone, uh, Sean, uh, very kindly um, put a post and a group up saying that if anyone wants to do squares for a big blanket for Jan, then you're more than welcome and we will give it to her for her birthday. Now this was organised at the beginning of the year, um, but it was, um, it's beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful. Go check her video out because... Um, her actually getting the blanket was it was very very nice and you could see in her face she didn't she didn't know what to say and um yeah it was it was lovely so Jan you're very welcome that we all done uh, squares for you it was so nice to be able to do something for somebody else and I know as a crochet crocheter or a knitter if you receive something from somebody else it's so much um, it's so different to actually making it yourself um, so I'm glad you like it um, thank you for Kelly for sewing up all of the squares together or crocheting all the squares together actually making it into a blanket thank you for Sean for setting it up thank you for Erin um, in the US for actually organising for all the US um, things to go to her um, it, was, it was brilliant so I'm just glad I could have been a part of it, a part of it, and Jan has got something that I have made in that blanket. So it was, it was very touching to watch because she, um, she just didn't know what to say. I don't think so, but it was, it was lovely. Also, I watched Shan's video last night, um, and she is making a scrap blanket with all of the sample kit yarn. Now, let me. For instance, I think it's this sort of thing that I I haven't even opened this. Um, and she's making a scrap blanket um, as well as a grey square blanket. Um, so I thought that was an absolutely brilliant idea to actually use all these bits that you get. Now, I normally keep my kits. I don't normally give them away because there's always a time where you would think, oh, I might make that. And I do make aragroomies, and as you can see, I do have a lot of odds and ends and little balls, and because you could use that just for an, like an arm, a body, a hat, or a scarf, or something. So that's why I keep all my little bits, and I keep kits. Um, now, doing the blanket, I thought was a really good idea because it's you're not actually using your stash you're just using kits that you'd probably never use anyway um, so I thought that was a really good idea Sean um, it might be something I do in the future who knows but I have got I have got all the kits that come with my um, magazines so I'll have to sort them out <laughs> but yeah I just thought that was a really good idea so yeah good one um, that's all I've got to say today. Um, I don't think there is anything else. And if there is, then oh well. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think there is anything else other than I am doing Vlogmas, so go check that out. Um, I'm actually uploading at the moment. So yeah, that's, that's that. Anyway, thank you for watching, um, thank you for subscribing, if you're not subscribed, press that subscribe button, press the bell button to be notified when I put a video up, leave me a comment down below of anything you want to ask, or anything, any questions that you have, press that like button, and I shall see you next week, bye for now.